Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. And brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar. Carolina Ford, built for the Carolinas, built Ford proud. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Hello again and welcome to the latest edition of the Carolina Insider and man oh man do we have a busy show for you today primarily because holy smokes Carolina and Virginia 59 39 the final score in Keenan Stadium Carolina has the ball five times in the second half scores the touchdown on every possession ends up with nearly 700 yards of offense a lot of highlights to show you post game reaction as well. Earlier in the week, Adam Lucas and I had an opportunity to speak to Antoine Green, a member of the Carolina Receiving Corps, had a great game against Georgia State, had a catch in this matchup with Virginia as well. You'll hear some of our conversation with Antoine. And then at the end of the show, we'll get you up to date on a couple highlights from some fall sports competing in Chapel Hill as well. But let's go back to, boy, just a couple hours ago, Saturday night in Keenan Stadium as uh, Carolina got up to a big lead against Virginia. Cavaliers came back, though, in the first half. Ultimately, the Tar Heels win it, but let's see how it happened. Carolina will start on its own 18-yard line, going from left to right. Howell is going to keep it himself on the first play, coming to the near side. Howell over the 25 and is wrestled down by a couple different Virginia defenders, including Devontae Cross. Line starters one more time because we get the official word as Howell pulls it out of the belly of his back, goes to Antoine Green, who brings it in at the 40. Will spin forward to the 41. Howe, quick hitter to Downs, near side. Half down with a lot of space. 35, 30, coming to the near sideline. Downs may go. 10, 5, give it to him. Touchdown, Carolina. That pass was only about nine yards in the air, but goodness gracious, Josh Downs did the rest. Yard touchdown pass, Howe to Josh Downs. Armstrong to throw. Hands off, little Ball inside loose. handoff. Ball's on the deck. Both teams pile up. I Let's think see. Carolina got it. Carolina has the football. Who's going to come out of there with it? Dez Evans, the sophomore from Sanford. So Carolina has the football. They'll start on their own 18-yard line after the fumble, and they'll keep it on the ground. Chandler, a little stutter step, and now he's off to the races. Pounds over a Cavalier down to the 35-yard line. Joey Blunt, the 7-0 lead. And they will hand off again to Chandler, starting to the far side, bounces off a tackle. Chandler steps through, down the near sideline, dragged down from behind by Joey Blunt, but not until Chandler gets into Virginia territory. Carolina up 7-0. Howe claps his hands, snap a little low. He's able to scoop it up off the turf. Boy, all day to throw. Let's one go. Downs, end zone, lays out, brings it in. Is it six? You're darn right it is. What a catch by Downs. The diving grab in the back right corner of the end zone. How in the shotgun. Flaps his hands. He'll pull it, throw it, caught. Joffrey Brown steps through a tackle. He may go. He's the fastest on the Tar Heel team. You are not catching him. Touchdown, Carolina. Well, all right. Joffrey Brown hadn't had a catch through two games. What should you do with your first catch of the season? How about you take it to the house, young fella? Right. Howell's going to throw it this time. Deep in the pocket. Wide open. Downs. Got it. Tripped up as he makes the catch. Inside the Cavalier 20. Blunt able to save another touchdown. So Atkins off the right hash will try from 36 yards away. Snap back. Spot down. Kick is up. And it is good. So Carolina has to settle for three. Carolina had the big lead. 24-7. Tar Heels had it at 24-14, five yards away, but that interception in the end zone changes the entire game. And it will be Virginia with the lead on a 21-0 run to end the half. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed. Undeniably versatile. Unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life she's gonna be a drummer yeah she is 
that's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. This is Ford Truck Month. So are you ready for a ride? Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. Get our best offers of the year and see what built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to the show. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed. Undeniably versatile. Unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 all fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. So not the way the Tar Heels wanted to end the first half in Chapel Hill with Virginia running off the final 21 points of the half and taking a 28-24 lead into halftime. But a dominating performance in the second half for the Tar Heels, outscoring Virginia 35-11, outpacing the Cavaliers by 20. Let's see the second half highlights, and there were a bunch in Chapel Hill. Filling in for the available but not 100% Brian Anderson. Again on the ground, Chandler again positive yards. Chandler steps through a tackle at the 50. Chandler cuts back at the 35. Chandler, his jersey being dragged from behind as he takes the Cavalier all the way to the 10. He is going to roll to the right, dump it off Walston. He'll walk in for the touchdown. Walston with his first score of the season. Virginia with the football, moving right to left. Little inside handoff to Hollins, and he's met by Gimmel. After a couple of yards, Armstrong drifted to the left, gave the kind of counter inside handoff to Hollins going to the right. Carolina gets some good pressure on the punt. Downs is going to have a chance for his first return as a Tar Heel. Coming to the near side, Downs at the 40, Downs at the 50. He's at the Cavalier 40, and that first return is an explosive one as he gets it into UVA territory. Howe will empty out the backfield. Fakes the throw to Hood. Now he'll scramble. Howe coming to the near side. Cuts back and has the first down over the 15. And there is that improved rushing ability of Howe. Heels. Keep it on the ground. Hood. Touchdown. Carolina just pounded his way in for six. I don't care what you call him. That was impressive. At their own 38. Again on the ground, Chandler. Chandler more room. Chandler into Virginia territory and pushed out of bounds. Here comes a late flag, multiple late flags. Chandler now in, and he'll get the football. Chandler, it's the one Chandler to the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Carolina with the lead. Virginia, though, with the football. Armstrong. Looked a long time deep, he yep. throws and intercepted! Conley, he did it with one hand, gets the pick! There is a flag down. 
as a draw to Henderson. A lot of room up the gut. Henderson makes a man miss at the 35. Still turning the big fella. Gets inside the 30. Good hard running by Henderson. Getting his opportunity here. Now Hal will run. Hal at the 20. Cut from behind as he crosses the 15 to the 10. Hal started in the shotgun. Now he's going to go under center. Gets the snap. Fakes it to Chandler. Has Morales wide open. Had to slide down, but he took it off the turf for six. It wasn't the prettiest throw of Sam Howell's career. The daggum if it doesn't count for six more. Uh, going right to left, Brian. Ball on the far hash. Big third down. Howell is going to throw. Let's it go, and there's your man down. First down and more. He's into Virginia territory and taken down over the 40. So, Brian, just as you said, I mean, that's a pretty good option if yes. you need a big yes. completion. And Carolina keeps it on the ground with Chandler. Right side, outruns the defender and runs his way in for six. Carolina has absolutely pounded the ball down Virginia's throat the entire second half. Proud of our guys. Uh, momentum, we, we dominated the first quarter and a half and then right before the half going into score to get 31 um, and throw the interception. They run it out to the 50. Then your defense has to step up and we didn't stop them. Um, so we had to come out and take our momentum back the second half because we lost it all. Uh, missed the field goal, they go down and score. Uh, so we let them get back in the ball game. But uh, scored every time we touched the ball in the second half. Uh, scored touchdowns. Uh, really, really proud of, of the running game and the balance on offense. And that's who we wanted to be to start the season. We just weren't ready to do that. Uh, defensively, we made enough stops to win. But we still, um, Brennan Armstrong's really, really good. We, we allowed... Uh, him to have uh, too many completions and, and stay on the field on third down or six for eight the first half. I know I'm not really sure it was a lot better the second half, but still not great. Uh, so we got a, uh, we had three sacks to their one. We had fewer penalties, which is something we hadn't done well against them, but uh, Virginia's been a hard team for us to beat. So really, really proud of our team. Uh, Sam looked like the quarterback that, that we all knew he was. Um, he, he had one of the best games I've ever seen, and, and his ability to run is really helping our running game because he's had over 100 yards the last two weeks. This is Ford Truck Month. So are you ready for a ride? Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. Get our best offers of the year and see what built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to for a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed. Undeniably versatile. Unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's going to be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card. Unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919-ALL-FOURS. This is Ford Truck Month. Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. Get our best offers of the year and see what built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to the show. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve. 
at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Welcome back to the show, and if you follow Carolina closely, and I know you do, that's why you're joining us this week. You know that the Tar Heels have a bunch of new receivers that they are trying to break in at this season. One of them is Antoine Green, a veteran on the team, but being asked to play a much larger role this year. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to catch up with Antoine, learn a little bit of his backstory, and how it's going so far early in the year for him and the Tar Heels. Brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar. There's been injuries, there's been adversity, and now you've got this opportunity as a starter. Just g give us the snapshot of, of what it has taken for you to get to this point. All right, well, my freshman year coming in, I was probably the best I felt body-wise, mm -hmm. like physically, strength, speed, all of that. And came out Syracuse and I had broke my leg on after I had two catches as well. So I had a lot of adversity going on. I had family issues. Um, best friend had passed away the day before the game. Oh, wow. And I came back two months after I had broke my leg. My older brother passed away. So it was just a hard year overall. And mentally I was – and physically I was set back so far. And then I came out my sophomore year, and I was ready to play. I didn't expect to return that fast. And I had came out second game of the season, and I pulled my groin. So it was, it's been real tough, but – I feel like I did a lot of a lot of the work physically and more so mentally because that's where that was that has been my hardest challenge was mentally. Yeah, I would think so as a young person, how do you try and handle all of these different things and, and losses close to you like that? I mean, how, how do you try and manage all of those things while also being a student and a football player and trying to excel in all these different areas? Uh, I believe, well, God, of course, and then my support system is so strong. Like, my mom, she was, she's had my back since day one. And just my family, my brothers kept me uplifted, and they helped me get through everything I've been through. When you say you did the work mentally, I, like, I think we understand the physical work that goes into being a, a successful college football player. What's involved in doing the work mentally to get to the point where you feel confident you can make a play every time the ball is snapped? Um, I say the work that's involved, like mentally, is just studying other people, such as Kobe Bryant and how he carries himself and mm -hmm. the mindset he carries. And of course, I, I, I look towards God a lot, and He's really the, the source to me, and He's gave me confidence and everything I needed. I have to imagine it was fun last year to have such talented receivers in that room with you, but also maybe a little frustrating too because they're catching a lot of balls that Antoine Green would like to be catching. <laughs> what did you learn being in the receiver room with Daz Newsom and Deami Brown and players like that that has helped you this year? Um, I learned that football is it's a tough game of course and everybody wants to get on the field but a lot of the times it's about the team and you can't be selfish in this game and when you're not selfish that's when good things start to happen to you. How do you try to build a relationship on the field with Sam Howell? Because I know, I mean, I know you guys can throw and, and practice and do extra stuff. I would have to think it's got to happen in the games, though, for that true trust to <clears throat> be there. Is that accurate? Yeah, it's pretty accurate, but of, of course it always starts in practice, and you just build that chemistry over time. And it's, it doesn't just happen instantly, but when you hit back and forth, like on certain throws, it'll just be like, how did someone from Rockledge, Florida end up in, in Chapel Hill? All right, so basically, of course I love Florida and I love the state of Florida, but I wanted to get away. And I felt like Chapel Hill was the perfect place for me. And it was just certain people that had reeled me into this place, like Chaplain Mitch. He's a great guy, and I ain't mm. never met nobody like him. What's the biggest uh, like life adjustment you had to make moving from Florida to Chapel Hill? Uh being away from my mom because I'm a mama's boy and <laughs> all my siblings as well because I have I have five other siblings back at home and actually one went to college at Mars Hill University yeah and he played linebacker and I have a I have three younger brothers and then one younger sister as well that just went off to college before we let you go Antoine just take us through a little bit of your goals moving forward this season what are you going to continue to work on what's important to you um most of all, what's important to me is staying consistent and always improving and helping others around me improve. 
And my personal goals, I want to go far, but I don't ever want to put no limits on myself. So I'm going to let God take me as far as he wants. And as a team, of course, we want to achieve everything we can achieve and we want to end up in Charlotte. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential, flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card, unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. This is Ford Truck Month. So are you ready for a ride? Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. Get our best offers of the year and see what Built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to the show. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Introducing 48 square centimeters of earning potential. Flawlessly designed, undeniably versatile, unlimited 2% cash back. This is the card built for real life. She's gonna be a drummer. Yeah, she is. That's gonna get loud. Right? The new Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa credit card, unlimited 2% cash back on purchases. That's real life ready. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work, and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Thanks again for being here this week, wrapping up the show as we like to try and do every single week with some action from other Tar Heel sports. That includes men's soccer, which picked up a victory over Campbell this past week, and also volleyball. Boy, the Tar Heels, under the guidance of veteran coach Joe Segula, off to a terrific start, 11-0 on the year, including a couple of wins this past week. Let's check out the highlights of some Tar Heel victories in Chapel Hill. Going to be the right leg of Bawa. Too high. Does a lot of that for Carolina as a helicopter flies over. He sends it into the box. Out to Pickering. Oh, what a save by Rodriguez. On the first real golden chance of the night from either side. Here comes Ernest Bawa with some space. Crosses to the middle. A chance. Off the post. Looked like Sanchez got a rip. And he boots it just high again. So they lead the NCAA in corners per game, but just the second though tonight. Garvanian. Sullivan tries to get ahead on it too high. 10-15 to go for the final push. Such a luxury though to be able to rotate bodies like that. Here's Alex Rose in the middle. Nice save by Rodriguez and Icoba misses wide right. Fisher, yes, that's a goal for Carolina. They break the ice at the 82nd minute. Third of the season for Cameron Fisher, who now ties the team high. Rodriguez is upset as he gave up that goal, but what a strike from Fisher. The Tar Heels top Campbell out of the Big South, 1-0. And get a nice bounce back win after that game against Pittsburgh on Friday. 11 blocks and 74 digs. And 
an absolute free ball opportunity. Merkler win, high set from the back line. Davidson will attack, nothing doing there. And Kaya Merkler. Merkler had six kills against Charlotte last night. Blocked! Win was right there. Whirl. Nealon. Howard. Point, Carolina. She just comes in and spurts. There's Kay blocked at the net. Uh, they'll keep it alive. Unfortunately, it was a overpass. Carolina trailing by one here. Nealon to the lefty Zinger. Again, an overpass. Merkler at the high school that Corinna Whirl went to at Cathedral, Cathedral Catholic. Here's Annabelle Archer. Sky Howard. Nealon. Parker Robinson dialing up the point. That's exactly what they needed to stop the 4-0 run. And that's a young lady who is one of the top players in the A-10. And that's category is Shaftmaster. And now Brady, you know, one to free ball it across. Trying to drop the hammer is Shaftmaster. Looking to go 11 for 11. Kashada Faye, service A says it's wild. Whirl, Nealon. Shaftmaster, back corner. Set up high, blocked at the net. Merkler and Shaftmaster. Good job as Nealon will have to battle at the net. That one saved up in the air. That one falls in. Total team effort by Carolina. Parker Robinson puts it away. What a great rally as Carolina is 11 out of 11. The grind does not stop for Tar Heel football. Another Coastal Division matchup coming up next week, this time on the road. Heels going to Mercedes-Benz Stadium to face Georgia Tech next Saturday night. We'll have highlights of that and more next week on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. And brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Lee.